Hey guys, so I am out of town as you can see, so I thought that I would share with you what I pack in my travel makeup bag and kind of do a get ready with me using the products that are inside my travel bag. So if you guys are curious to see what I pack when I travel, just keep watching. I always pack a sleep mask and one of my makeup eraser cloths. I always pack some body lotion. Start off with a little Fix Plus. Go in with my primers. I've got my Body Shop Tea Tree Primer and my L'Oreal Lumi Glotion. Next for concealer, I have the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser in Brighton and my Essence Camouflage Plus Concealer in 10. This is my go-to combination and my Maybelline Face Studio Sponge. For foundation, I brought my L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation. For powders, I brought these two. This is the H&M True Matte Finishing Powder in Porcelain for under the eyes and the CoverGirl Advanced Radiance Pressed Powder in Creamy Natural for the face. And then as a finishing powder, I have the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter, the original, and my Sonia Kashuk Powder Brush. This is what the makeup bag looks like inside. I've got the brushes on one side and then all of the products inside, which is really nice. For contour and bronzer, I have these two. I have the Milani Silky Matte Bronzer in Light, and I have the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronzer in Light as well. This one has a bit of a shimmer, it's a really cool tone, and this one is good for contour. For blush, I always have this Pixi Book of Blush in my travel bag. 
And I also brought the CoverGirl Full Spectrum Sculpt Expert because it has a really pretty like glowy blush and two highlights in it. So this is what I'll be using on my cheeks today. And my Sony Kashuk Blush Brush. Moving on to eyes, I always bring a couple of different palettes because I never know what look I'm going to be going for. This time I brought the Milani Soft and Sultry Palette, which I don't think I will end up using. The CoverGirl Full Spectrum So Saturated Palette in Reverence, which is beautiful for like highlighting shades. I brought the ColourPop Element of Surprise Palette, which is mostly pinks and purples. And the one that I think I'm going to use today, the Morphe and Kathleen Lights Palette, which has some nice of mauve and green tones that that's what I'm going to be doing today. Or brows. I brought an assortment of pencils because you never know when you're going to run out. I brought my CoverGirl my CoverGirl Ultra Fine Brow Pencil. I brought my e.l.f. Brow Pencil in taupe, I want to say. It doesn't have the shade on it. And my ColourPop Brow Pencil in Soft Brown. And then my kind of Holy Grail Brow Gel, which is the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara. As predicted, I did run out. CoverGirl is out. Deodorant, my tried and true, my Dove Original Clean. I also have really been into the Spray Cucumber one. Really nice scent. Last up, we have lashes. I have my Sonia Kashuk Lash Curler. And then I brought these three mascaras with me. My W7 Lash Tastic, my L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes Excess, and my Maybelline Snapscara Mascara in blue. I love this combination. But I do my mascara after I dry my hair, so I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, so I'm back, hair is dry and done, so now let's pop on a little mascara. So the mascara is done, my face is mostly done. I have a bag of lip products that I brought with me, including the Gold Addiction lipsticks from L'Oreal, which is probably what I'll end up using today. A couple of the Pixie Matte Last Liquid lipsticks, 
I have one of the L'Oreal Shine lipsticks and then a handful of like nudie lip liners. I've got CoverGirl, Maybelline, Wet n Wild. So I will just pop on a little bit of color on my lips and I will be done. And I've actually got to run because they're serving breakfast now. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what was in my travel makeup bag. If you did enjoy this video, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.